10 Places to See in Denmark What is the best way to escape reality and live a fairy tale? As bizarre as it sounds, going on a vacation can almost feel the same. A trip to Denmark is exactly what flying to a fairy tale land looks like. If you have no idea about tourist destinations in Denmark, this video will guide you. Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to look at the top 10 places to visit as you go on a vacation in Denmark. Are you ready to start with the beautiful city of Copenhagen? Number 1. Copenhagen To kickstart your Denmark tour, we'll start with its capital city. Copenhagen is famous for its culinary magic and architecture that will blow you away. It's considered a treasure trove for the most scenic sites all over Denmark. This place has preserved the historical charm despite the growing modern cosmopolitan vibe over the years. It is considered a Scandinavian gem of a city with stunning cityscapes, making it look like a fairy tale. Some of the most sought-after tourist attractions in Copenhagen are the National Museum of Denmark, the Voli Gardens, and Christiansborg Palace. To experience the city like a local, boating or riding a two-wheeler is the best choice. The city of Copenhagen is exceptionally cold in the winters, with the average temperature circling zero degrees Celsius. But summers are quite pleasant, with average temperatures of around 18 to 24 degrees Celsius due to the oceanic flow of the northern air. Number 2. Roskilde One of the most beautiful and historical places to visit in Denmark is Roskilde. Located on the Danish island of Zealand, the town's history can be traced back to the pre-Christian Viking eras. The town is famous for its picturesque green meadows and the grandeur of nature's beauty. The Roskilde Cathedral is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is a must-see for tourists. Also, don't forget to visit the Roskilde Palace to explore the Baroque designs in details. Since the place has countless museums, one of the most rewarding things to do while visiting the town is to explore these museums, with the Ragnarok Museum in particular. If you are lucky enough or plan your trip to Denmark wisely, you might be able to experience the Roskilde Festival, which is one of the biggest music festivals across Europe. Roskilde's climate is cool and wet all year round, with extremely harsh winters and pleasant summers. Hence, summers are the perfect time for vacationing around this region. Number 3. Odense Odense ranks as the third largest city in Denmark and is also considered one of the country's oldest cities. The city derives its name from Danish, which means Odin Sanctuary, as it was regarded as a sanctuary of worshippers of the Nordic god Odin, and there are excavations that date its inception back to the Stone Ages. This city is best known as the home of the renowned writer Hans Christian Andersen, and one can easily see the picturesque beauty of the place. The hosts of ancient cathedrals and other buildings, the cobblestone streets, and beautiful monuments have preserved and added to the rustic and old-school charm of the city throughout time. The H.C. Anderson Museum is one of the most famous tourist spots of the city, which is considered a pilgrim spot for readers and writers worldwide. One place you should not miss while visiting Odense is the stunning Odense Fjord. It has scenic landscapes, and the fjord is open to several outdoor sports like kayaking, or you could go boating or bird watching. Number 4. Ribe Ribe is the oldest town of Denmark the history of which can be traced back to the Germanic Iron Age and is located on the southern half of Jutland. The vibe of this town is unmatched, and the beauty of this place gives travelers relief from the hustle and bustle of the hectic urban life. Ribe houses the oldest cathedral in the history of Denmark, the Ribe Cathedral, which was built in the 12th century. History has it that this ancient building was made out of the Viking Age's volcanic tuff, the Ribe Viking Museum helps enrich your knowledge about the city's past with its splendid display of artifacts that enumerate the town's Viking evolution history. The city has a cold climate throughout the year, with the temperature rarely rising above 69 degrees Fahrenheit, which shows us how exceptionally cold winters here could be. At the same time, the summers here are a perfect time for tourist activities. Number 5. Kelsinger for people who read Shakespeare's Hamlet, this quaint city of Kelsinger is easily identifiable from his novels. The city gets its name from its precarious location as it occupies the narrowest point of Oresund. The city has managed to preserve its medieval mementos, which form a large part of its tourist attraction. There are magnificent cathedrals on one hand and small cafes, boutiques, and patisseries on the other, all of which add to the cosmopolitan charm of Kelsinger. The city's most popular tourist spot is the Kronberg Slot, which is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Saltwater Aquarium of Arsund Akvarit is another popular destination awaiting your visit. 
The climate of this place is pleasant during summers, with overcast and extremely cold winters as a contrast. So if you plan a trip to Kalsinger, the summer months are highly advisable. Number 6. Bornholm one of the most traditional islands of Denmark, Bornholm, is located across the expanse of the wild waters of the Baltic Sea. The history of this small Danish island can be traced back to the early Stone Ages, and its culture has been preserved over centuries. Here, its colorful history acts as proof to these claims. Bornholm is considered one of the most beautiful holiday destinations in Scandinavia due to its vibrant fishing towns, ancient ruins, and fine sand beaches. Bornholm is known worldwide for its pretty fishing towns and colonies, which make up most of the community. One of the most sought-after tourist places in Bornholm by someone visiting Denmark is the medieval fortress at Hammerheads. Number 7. Frederiksberg If you are a tourist looking to explore the urban charm of Denmark, then Frederiksberg is the perfect place to start with. The municipality of Frederiksberg embodies Danish sophistication and is located on the eastern edge of Denmark. This place is lush with manicured public gardens where locals relax. There are cobblestones on the streets, which combined with the rustic, old-school charm of the place makes it feel like a scene right out of a postcard. The gardens are definitely worth visiting. In fact, if you have returned from a visit to Frederiksberg without exploring the gardens, then you might as well have not even gone to visit Frederiksberg in the first place. There is also the famous Copenhagen Zoo with the famous Elephant House, which is another popular tourist attraction, especially among the young travelers. Lunch at the famous Central Hotel on Café in the world's smallest restaurant and coffee shop would be a nice addition to the list of experiences here. Number 8. Aalborg Like many other tourist spots listed in this video, this place is also located on the Jutland Peninsula. The history of Aalborg can be traced back to the Iron Ages and the Viking settlements. This city ranks the fourth largest in Denmark and has served as an important trading route and fishing port throughout its existence. Aalborg is one of the most visited tourist spots for travelers coming to Scandinavia. With stunning landscapes, magnificent fjords, vast islands, and a series of historical monuments, Aalborg is one of the most beautiful places in Denmark. If you are a history or a nature lover, this place is perfect for you, with Lymfjord Hoja Viking Burial Site as the most popular tourist attraction waiting to be explored. Among many other tourist spots, the ones worth mentioning here are the Island of Eggholm, the renowned Springer Maritime Center, and the Aalborg Zoo. Also, the Lighthouse is a street food market located within an old furniture factory and is the best way to explore the culture of this place and take a stroll through Cloud City. Number 9. Aarhus Located on the eastern coast of the Jutland Peninsula, Aarhus is Denmark's second largest city that was initially founded as a Viking settlement of the 8th century. Today, it has grown into one of Denmark's busiest tourist spots. If you're looking for the most aesthetic place to visit in Denmark, Aarhus is the place to be. This place captures your heart with its historical cobblestone streets, beautiful buildings, and stunning landscapes. There's a wealth of art to be discovered in this city. Various art styles, Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque art are displayed on monuments spread across the city to showcase different forms. The most popular tourist attraction in this city and a must-see is the open-air town museum Den Gamelby, followed by the Aarhus Botanical Garden. The Den Gamelby houses more than 75 historical buildings and ancient timbered houses, which portray the different forms of Danish architecture. If you are in Aarhus, make sure you take a tour of the Marcellusborg Palace, the official residence of the Danish royal family. Number 10. Herning This place is one of the biggest commercial markets of Denmark and is located on the Jutland Peninsula. Herning was initially founded back in the 18th century, and since then it has grown into one of the most developed cities in Denmark. The town of Herning is a picturesque one, with heaths lining one edge of the town and ancient manors lining other edges. The town's historical attractions and natural beauty call you to explore its deeper recesses. You could admire several museums from up close or visit the Loveback Animal Park. Also, the Birkebach Plantage is a great vantage point to take in all the glory of the natural flora in this town. The climate of this place is favorable, warm, and temperate, perfect for small adventures in addition to many slopes and trails found here. The winters can be harsh between November and March, but the summers are relatively pleasant. Herning experiences considerable rainfall throughout the year, apart from the occasional winter rains. Well, now all that is left for you to arrange is a perfect trip to Denmark, because we have reached the end of this video. 
Do let us know in the comment section which other places you'd like to visit and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one and until then, happy journey.